Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, the Curse Run. In the last episode, we further returned into the Shadow Curse Lands. We're now in the Moonrise Towers. We've talked with Arach Oblodora, Oblodra, and got that uh, magical elixir that grants us plus two to strength. I was wondering whether I should give it to Shadow Heart <coughs> or myself or my character, and I believe I will give it to my character, despite it providing literally nothing except some more additional carry capacity, because uh, Shadowheart will be using those uh, in a free close of strength that will increase to 23, and besides, uh, you know, she's more, so, more of a caster than a melee fighter, and, and, uh, except Will, but Will is using his Charisma modifier for anything, so he also doesn't require Still breathing. Uh, that breathing. portion. So let's drink up. Yeah, right now I'm under the uh, effect of uh, his giant strength elixir, so That's nothing changed, but Welcome back, let's continue. Soul. There are several things we need to explore here, and go talk to that orc lady. Thankfully, I wasn't in it at the time. My cousins did like to boast about their view over the claw rift. And now their bones decorate the bottom. Also that elf potion that uh, was, was created from my blood. Uh, it grants movement speed, uh, dark vision, and generally anything, any bonuses that elves get. Uh, so I give it to Gale. Hopefully he won't die from it. But, you know, he's the only person that doesn't have dark vision. So in case uh, he needs one, uh, he can drink. Now, uh, as from here, I will probably buy potions because I was running across all the merchants and bought some potions. It's not like we are low in cash. But do you have anything special? And this is good in certain fights. This is uh, this is nice because I'm doing uh, reverberation, reverberation. But this cloak, it's I think it's too powerful. Uh, that would be nice, but I currently really do thunder damage. I Using lightning damage as my base. That would be good, for example, for Will. Where am I needed? But he's using arcane synergy, and I don't. I haven't come up I, uh, with an idea how to utilize that thing. Uh, dashing is pointless. That's uh. uh that's a good thing. Uh, plus one to spell save because that makes our spells more dangerous, or enemies should. Uh, One little should roll, have to roll higher. Uh, maybe for maybe for Gale. It's not like he is getting hit with cold damage. I don't need bugs for bugs. Ah, why not? Uh, 
My old ropes probably look the same. And yeah, buy some mm. potions. You need some. Quite ready for you. Sharp as ever. Need some. Bring some items because I have got small items to sell and then again that gold. Items that needs to be sold. Soul. Be enough to regain that money I lost. I'll leave those for now, might be useful. And for ingredients, don't really if you have anything useful. Find that hidden laboratory. Maybe on the upper floor. There's always something more I want to find. She sees everything we are. Do you understand? There is no hiding from her. Okay. I believe her means absolute or boring. Reason, which I don't know, not want to go right now. This will be the last. Uh, this is the last uh, area we go for leaving Moonrise Towers. Anything of use? We are each of us threads in her design. Called monsters. If you have coin, then show it. All right. This is short rest. I don't need the coins because I'm not using Karak and. When I used Karlak, uh, I didn't need that. Uh, I think I maybe use this instead of charges. It's again high spell casting and battery initiative.
this. I might give to Shadow Heart. Man, there's so many cool items, but you can only use like a few of them. Get I am ready. Still alive, so that's progress. Don't waste a step. <laughs> Don't blame you for wanting to stay clear. Truly some Very well. Don't mind Meg and her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. Hush! Meat sounds above! Here! And for a moment, you do hear it. The brain tendril you encountered, shifting through the tower walls. Hidden treasure is somewhere here. I don't believe I ever found it. See, it's somewhere near the stairs to. This is the spot that's marked on that map. Ah. Okay, so from this distance, you made a check. The pride of the gate. Or maybe I did found it last time. All right. Yeah. Although the marker was inside the tower, so <laughs> these boots have seen everything. All right, uh, let's go upstairs. Just about the sort of love that I, I mean, his, his secret hidden thingy. I just probably missed this and went straight there and simple enough. didn't care. Just probably ignore the closed door because it was locked. Yeah. With a flick of the wrist.
Yeah, I probably forgot about those doors. Here, there is something girl needs to do. Right tool will do the trick. Poison, anyone? I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. Vast world out there. Now, how do you enter and out something from those books? Yankee Prince. All right. If you are free to enter here, why was this? Why is this door red? Hmm. 
all right let's do it differently One of them it is summon zombie. This summons whatever. I knew I was missing something. So every that book is uh, a trap. If sort of new effort that you need to do something with books and then insert that. But I will see if I was wrong or. Top right, that opens this. Right, right, right. Slayer.
out, maybe for Gael, because he's with already have something to do, encrusted with frost. Not the same thing, so, or maybe, yeah, he has those gloves. It's a shame to lose the, this blood and silk cut. A free spell is a free spell. Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. This night song sounds like the source of Ketherick's immortality. That name. Not the first thing you'd think to call an artifact of the Absolute. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles. With the mutilated corpses of a lithid parasite. But they were already imbued with Netherese magic. Experiments were performed. So where did that magic come them? from? Okay. Uh, the pixie, the pixie. Can't use the general model, I know what to do. Can't just use the ritual, ritual circle. circle. Judging by the shadow sigils inscribed, it was used in the creation of Balthazar's moon lanterns. Though its power is weakened, you could still use the shattered pixies Balthazar discarded to craft one final lantern. Not to repel the shadows, but to wield them. Mistra forbids the use of such magic. She would insist the sigils be destroyed, the circle's evil dissipated. But she is not here, and you are. Uh, yeah, th th this is the right option. We already have lantern and protection from the shadow. It doesn't take much. The sigils fade, the circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the ether. For the briefest moment, you feel the touch of a reassuring hand on your shoulder. Mistra has noted your service. And this is what you probably would do anyway. Uh, yeah, and yeah, concentration checks for will. Although I'm not sure if I, I can do it. it. Let me check. Does it have to be Will? Hey, uh, Gail? was experimenting on the tadpoles but they were already imbued with netherese magic carved into the bed a ritual circle and the complex one at that i've seen such a construction before in the writings of the weave pasha Alm raven though his vision was not so tainted the sigils are written in a curious mix of tongues ancient kalashite Netherese? Something else I can't quite make out. If I'm reading it correctly, it was used in the creation of moon lanterns. It's been mostly drained, but even now contains a powerful dose of shadow weave. The discarded pixie corpses might still contain enough essence. With one of the broken lantern casements. Yes, I think I'll be able to craft one more lantern, and with a slight modification of the casting gesture, it might be able to wield the shadows instead of repelling them. Though, Mistress' eyes may be upon me. It should forbid me dabbling with such magic. Did want it destroyed. Wasted, arguably. Forget what Mistra wants. Think about yourself and what Lady Shah's power could do for you, Gale. Make the lantern. 
Spread her will. No, no, no. We need to destroy it. Some room then, if you please. Okay, so only go in the take much. The sigils fade. The circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the ether. Not bad for a wizard who slept through his Kalashite lessons, eh? And yeah, still gives, yeah, gets a slight concentration. Okay. Nothing lost. A goblet filled with the mutilated corpses of illithid parasites. Whatever own godly experiments were performed on them likely killed them. Prove useful, especially if turned against Catherick himself. Then we better get searching, shall we? You have my attention. No time to rest. And Gil wants to speak. Did you feel that? I wasn't surrounded on all sides by the darkness of the shadow cursed lands. I'd think it was Mistra herself brushing against my skin. Not weak, but subtle. Mistra knows there is a risk to make herself known here, however briefly. After all, this cursed place is not hers, but Shah's. Mistra came here with a purpose. She's left some tiny part of herself to watch over me, I think. A boon to help us reach the heart of the Absolute in one piece. Strange, though, that she would reward me for such a service now. She's hardly been forthcoming on that front since my banishment. Ah, perhaps I'm overthinking things. A blessing's a blessing, and this one should come in most useful. Yep. Okay, Breathe now. Deep and move. Maybe we can. He does nothing. Talk to... This is a restricted yep. area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... You've been granted free passage. What you do with that privilege is up to you. Hey ho. Everything here is locked. So I guess I will have to return to the post combat. This is here. Okay, you can risk it, of course. Don't want to draw any attention. as my feet can carry me. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. I don't need any attention right now. Don't give me trouble now. Is this 
Cadbury's Chamber Room. Time to press ahead. Stand, soldier. These are the General's private quarters. Wait. Something in your scent is... familiar. Probably because I'm on Dark Forge. You stumble into trouble like a stray pup. My own litter were the same. But they are long dead now. Mind where you stray, lest I send you to join them. from Catherick's wife. Sounds like she loved him very much. I think I can give this to my favorite. Me. All is ash and meat. Can't afford to stay idle. Those doors. Interesting. Does this enter? Don't give me trouble now. Uh, I think I've read 
about this. I believe this is a mimic. And I was recently read that if you one should kill this without this turned into a mimic, there is a special item in here. And do I, I should have a few barrels. Yes. Let's see then. A monster masquerading as furniture. Can go to my camps, so let's go to camp and pick a few more bottles. Need to find a way forward. Okay. Open up. This should be enough. All right, now everyone stand back. Especially your shadow heart. No rest for the wicked, I see. And we'll defend the top fire because you can restore your spells. Save. Let's get it done. Well, what are you doing? If this is the item that we get uh, if we kill Mimic in one turn. It's the guy uh, who was telling this said that, so I have to believe them because I wasn't here previously. Thorn, loving mother, beloved wife. Her light will never be forgotten. Super sneak. Okay. Always room for more. And this this it's here, so we don't have to open this. So let's check. Here. Let's see here. Another 
chest. There's nothing inside. Yeah, let's observe nothing. Roots. But I want to find out those roots that go up. Sadly, I cannot model those bottlements or whatever. There's something special up here. Move this way. Absolute will not share her dead flesh. We will tear it from the backs of the living. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. So they are the information that something is That's nice. Uh, 
but nothing special here. There's no point actually coming here other than get that lore from those guys or maybe kill them. Unfortunately, it can require everyone to, you know, come here. Here, it's a brazier, but I cannot access here. It looks like there's nothing special here, too. Yeah, what about? Or elixir. All right, that was fun. I wonder what the next move is. Light on my feet. I'll give it a shot. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly. Flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She sees the goblins walking free. And a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself. Again. Very pragmatic, but very boring. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate, but there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. Absolute fills your mind. But you have doubt and anger in your heart, not love. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Double ones. How many ones was in recent roles? Control your emotions. When you come to her, 
You must allow her love to push out all other feeling, or she will consume you. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. Hmm, why not? What's the point in power if you don't get to have a little fun every now and again? She gave me the power to cut the thread of life with a thought. But I can caress as well as cut. That's why you should stay on my good side. And the best way to do that is to serve General Thorm. I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. Indeed. The Absolute's love for him has made him more than mortal. He is unstoppable. All right. There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. It is something that General Thorm desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. She's suddenly nervous, on edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. I am in awe of the power the relic must hold. To be of such importance. General Thorne will not leave Moonrise without it. And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry. I am protected sure Rubatas are destroyed it. Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Tell him he's to share my secret stash with you. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Ah. Oh. So that way you could enter without any fuss. Eh, whatever. Let's find that Badberg again and finish for today. Go to the basement and rescue the gnomes and tieflings. And we can escape the area of the boat because someone was angry or Whatever, when I didn't use the boat last time. I think it was here. Hmm. You seek arms. I seek a warrior worthy took a liking to you, did she? Watch yourself. She breaks her toys once she's done with them. Uh, okay, if only now I knew what's so special. Uh, probably those two gloves. And maybe that armor. Uh, 
Uh, maybe this also. This is constitution. What's next? Should I or should I don't? The constitution is nice because that's more hit points. Strength saving checks, it's nice. Less piercing damage, but this all incoming damage. So technically, this is better when it comes to damage reduction. Uh, maybe if I was using more melee oriented characters with heavy armor usage. This is good for Lazel, but we're not using her. Uh, okay, nothing special. Okay, uh, so in the next episode will go here and rescue them things and knows. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.